as much as we want to avoid storing sensitive information, sometimes we need that in our roles. And one example of this is when we want to create new users or install something that has sensitive information, perhaps SSL certificates. In this video, I want to go over using Ansible to set up the users that we need in each server. Now, in order to set up a user with Ansible, we need to give the users passwords. That means putting the password somewhere, usually like a variable file or something like that. Ansible provides us a way to securely save this data within variable files or any other YAML file that has uh, variables inside of them. So let's start. I'm going to go into the roles directory again. I'm going to make a new directory called users. Inside of users, we're going to recreate our usual role directory structure. All right, so let's start. I'm going to create the meta directory. And once again, we're just going to say there's no dependencies. Next, we can get right to the meat of this and create a variables YAML file. So if I just created this, this would be plain text. And you know, I could do things like set my admin password. And I could do maybe the role user password. And maybe I could set the public SSH key that both users are going to have. So this isn't too great. This is all in plain text. And I don't really want to save this file. So what I'm going to do is use Ansible Vault to create the new variables file. And this is going to ask us for a password. And the password is going to be used to encrypt the variables file. So I'm just going to put in a password quick, confirm it. I'm going to type it right this time. All right, great. So one thing to note is that I've been using Vim all along here. And you can use whatever you want, but Ansible Vault is going to dump you into Vim by default. In fact, it's going to dump you into whatever editor is your default editor in your system. Mine happens to be Vim. So before I even do anything, I'm going to save and quit this. And let's say I want to use Nano instead of Vim. I'm going to export then the editor variable and let's set it as nano. So now if I echo editor with the dollar sign, so it's a variable, we can see it's nano, and I'm gonna edit the file again with Ansible Vault. Now since it's created already, I just wanna edit it. And I'm gonna enter in the password I put before, and we can see now I can edit it using nano. I'm gonna put that back to Vim. All right, next I need to put in variables that I'm going to use for passwords for the two users I'm going to set up. But Linux actually needs a hashed password. I can't just give it a plain text one. If we check out the documentation on Ansible, it says to use the make password command to generate a password. However, I don't have it installed. Ubuntu luckily tells us what package to install in order to get the make password command. So I can see I just need to install this quick. So let's do that. All right, great. So now I have the make password command. And I can use that to generate two passwords. I want to generate two because I'm going to set up two users in this role. So I have a flag parameter and I'm going to tell it that I want to use the SHA-512 method of encrypting the password. And then it's going to ask me for the password. So I'm just going to make one up here. And then I'm going to do a second one for the second user. Great, so now these are hashed passwords I can use. So let's copy the first one. I'm gonna do Ansible Vault, edit, vars, main, enter in the password. I'm not using the same password for the users as I am for the vault. Um, let's say admin password is this first hashed one. I'll spell that right. And then I'm gonna create a deploy user password. So let's quit that quick. I'll copy this password in. Right, and the last thing I'm going to do is actually cat out my shared public key. You don't necessarily want to use the same public key that you use for Ansible to connect to these servers, but in this case, I'm just going to show you how you can use the public key for all of your users. So what I'm going to do here is copy and paste this public key. I'm going to put this in the variables file as the shared public key. And I'm going to set this key up to be added to the authorized keys file 
of the deploy user and admin user so that anyone who has the private key paired with this public key can log in as admin user and deploy user as well. How you go about sharing your keys within your company or for your personal use is up to you. This is just what I'm doing for example here. So now that these are saved using Vault, we can see what this looks like. And we can see it's just a file of you know, hash numbers. We can't read this. It's encrypted with AES-256. So even if this got saved in version control, if it got pushed up to GitHub, even if it was public, you can at least know that this is hashed and so people can't just go in and find your passwords and other important information. All right, so created the variables, and that's kind of like the meat of this. We've used Ansible Vault to create and edit the file. We can see other commands with the help. Um, and it's pretty simple, create, decrypt, edit, encrypt, and rekey. So we can reset the password with the rekey. We can decrypt an encrypted file. We can encrypt an already existing file. And then we already saw the use of create and edit. All right, so the next thing we wanna do is make a test file to create our users. And this is just gonna be regular and not encrypted at all because it's just a test file. The test file is just gonna use the variables. So the first thing I wanna do is create a role. I'm gonna call it create admin user. This is gonna use the user module. We're gonna name the person admin. The password we're gonna set as a variable. That password is going to be admin password. And then next we can set it to be partisan groups. So Ubuntu uses this group sudo to give people permissions to use the sudo command. So we're just going to add this user admin into the group sudo so that user can do so. I'm going to append yes, so I'm going to append the group sudo to whatever groups this user admin already may exist to. And then I'm going to set the user's shell to bin bash, just the default shell. So let's do the same for our deploy user. I'm going to call this create deploy user. I'm not going to show you deploying with this user, but this is just for example, we can create a user with the purpose of using it for deployments. I'm going to call this use the deploy password. This user is going to be part of the group WW data, which is also what Nginx might be running as, or our web applications and other web related users. So this user will not be able to use the sudo command. Instead, it'll just be part of the www data group and we'll be able to edit and modify files that have the group www data. And this is gonna do things like let the user deploy, deploy files to the web application, but not necessarily affect other parts of the server. Once again, we're gonna append the group and then just set the default shell to bash. So we've created our two users and now I'm gonna set our public key that we've added to the variables file to the authorized keys files for each of these users. This is going to let us log in to these users using the SSH key rather than their password. So let's name this add admin authorized key. This is going to use the authorized key module. The user is going to be admin. Key is our variable that we set called common public key. That's actually wrong. Hang on. Share public key, I believe. All right, so we have the key and finally the state of present. So this is going to add our shared public key to the authorized keys file of this user, and it's going to ensure it's present. So let's just copy and paste that for this user. And I'm going to name this admin or add deploy authorized key. This is gonna be for user deploy and everything else will be the same. All right, so this role is done. All we did was set the meta to have no dependencies. We've set variables using Ansible Vault, so these are hashed. And then we've made tasks to create the users and add their passwords as well as a shared public key that we can use to log in as those users. All right, so let's go up a few levels here. I'm going to edit the Nginx. I'm going to add the role users. And then I'm actually going to rename this instead of Nginx. I'm just going to call it servers.yaml. 
All right, so now let's run this. Ansible playbook. Private key equals my private key I made in the previous video. And we're going to use the servers.yaml file. Actually, let's be sure we're safe here. Ansible playbook, syntax check, and let's servers.yaml. The vault password must be specified. All right, so now we need to tell Ansible the vault password to use to decrypt any file it comes across that has a password on it. That is any file that's been encrypted with Ansible vault. So vault password. Actually, let's look this up. Ansible playbook, look at the help menu, and I want to find the vault password. Ask vault password, so I want this option. All right, so let's run our syntax check. I want it to ask vault pass, and I'll put it in. All right, so let's go to the track back of this Python error. So we're using Python because Ansible is built in it, so we have this Python track back. Dependencies, data get, and it doesn't like the syntax of something there. So let's check that out. Roles, users, meta, and this is the main file. Let's get rid of this because it's just a variable. And then we can ask the vault password again. Great, all right, everything's working good. So I'm gonna keep all of this. I'm gonna run server's YAML. I'm gonna keep it asking me the server password. I'm sorry, the vault password. And then finally, of course, I need to set my private key. SSH ID Ansible. Let's give it the vault password and let's see it run. So this is going to rerun the nginx role and then also the user's role. A variable inserted a new parameter. Be sure to quote variables if they contain equal signs. All right, so this will probably make sense. One of my variables has a pretty complex set of numbers and letters and that's the SSH public key. Actually, all of them do because the password does as well. So let's see, users, roles, I want to do my tasks and main. And let's surround all this stuff with quotes. All right, quotes around here and here and here and any other variables. No, I think we're okay. Let's try this again. All right, great. And it's actually going through it really quickly, which is nice. So admin, add, add the admin authorized keys. It already created the admin users in the last go around it because it didn't error out at that point. We're adding the keys, creating the deploy user, adding the deploy user, and then it's running through the Nginx items, which should basically remain unchanged. Awesome, okay, changed three. So I just did some of the user stuff here. All right, all set. Let's make sure these users exist. Let's cat. Etsy password, and I'm actually inside of one of the servers here. So if we have it on one server, we can assume it probably worked for the other users. And we can see we have a new user called admin. It has the proper shell, the proper home directory, and a new user called deploy. So I'm actually going to log in to admin user. Who am I? I'm admin. My groups are admin and sudo. Great. I'll exit out of that. And let's see the groups for user deploy as well, which are its own group, its own group, and the www group. Oops. All right, so that looks good. Now let's go to the home directory of, let's say, the admin user. And inside of the SSH directory, we see authorized keys. So if we check out authorized keys, we'll see the public key that we had in our variables file. So I could actually log in as this user to the server using the SSH public key pair that I created on this Vagrant server here. So actually, let's try that. Clear that out. And instead of logging in as user root, I want to log in as admin to the same server and the same public and private key pair. Perfect, I'm in. Great, so we can see that this user role has worked well.